Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today we're going to be jumping into the Owner Operator Series, of course. It's that time of the week again. And today we have a couple new things here with American Truck and the profile. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so as you guys may or may not have known, the Oklahoma DLC has finally dropped here in American Truck Simulator. You guys will see it right over yonder here. It's going to be a long time probably till we get down there on this profile, but hey, you never know what might happen here. We're doing a lot of work up in this area here. We have a day cab and we are going to try to stay somewhat local here in the region of the Northwest until we are able to... I guess get a bigger truck or a more practical truck because obviously we are nickeling and diming it right now, trying not to uh, trip over that dollar for the penny. But um, with that being said, if you guys noticed last episode, we ended off dropping off that trailer. Well, when the game has updated with Oklahoma, it has said, of course, that the game has noticed a different change. So then it puts us here. I kept us in Port Angeles. I really don't know why I say it like that. I really do not know why. Anyway, um, we're in Port Angeles, and uh, we got the truck all lettered up, of course, thanks to our lettering guy, Mr. Natty Ice. If you guys need any work from him, hit him up in the Discord. If you guys don't know about the Discord, it's down in the description below. Also, guys, speaking about the plugs, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, and we are also... What else are we doing? So many things right now. We're also live streaming over on twitch.tv slash modded ATS, and we are on the road to the big 2K, guys. Also, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs on up as we fire up the old Cummins. Oh, she is not happy now. So if we look here at our schematics here, we have a little bit of time left to do another load here. Our sleep is getting up, so we don't want to really get lost with the rest. Uh, moving along here, brakes are out, brake is in. Uh, let's start putting the hammer down. So we're gonna go pick up this load out of the West... Is it West Metals? Western? West something? I don't know. The contract came across the table. And, uh, they said, you got a big old truck that can pull this load? And I said, yeah, I guess we could say we do. I mean, uh... <laughs> We got uh, big axles in the back here because, uh, you know, we got to do all that heavy hauling. But uh, we'll see how this all pans out here. We got to run down this way. And we're going to be pulling a good old dump trailer. Uh-oh, uh geez. Lord in heaven, the road is bumpy. Ay -ay 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 -ay. This will be interesting. Look at that, guys. We just jump right into it. Uh, what time was it here in the game anyway? Was it 9.19 uh, in the morning? So still pretty early in the morning, but we started so early in the morning that we're only allowed to run those 14 hours. So hopefully we do have enough time. There were some more paying jobs or higher paying jobs, but uh, we needed to get something quickly so we could stay within our hours of service because we don't want to get a violation or be late on a load. But I got a funny feeling this will be our first load uh, that very well might be late. Uh, looks like we might have a little bit of raindrops hitting the old windshield as well. Uh, there's the metal place down there. Very, very cool uh, SES putting in these companies in here. And uh, adding some dynamic to it, right? So you're not getting your average uh, SES pickup and drop off. As you guys see over here, we got a, a lumber mill over here on the right. You guys will see some of the animations going. The stockpile back there coming off the belt further back here you see actually there's some trailers here on the left but further back here as we venture back you see it's more of an industrial side of things here um very very cool how they implemented these things here into the game uh very fun man i, I like that a lot i love seeing the progress over the years of american truck simulator and uh and how far it has come since its release and uh speaking about pick up and drop offs let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite place here in the game to pick up loads from or drop them off 
uh, basically solely SCS. Uh, I know, of course, you know, a lot of you guys, Western Metal, that's the name of the place. I know some, uh, some of the hammers out there, they'd be using some mods for some uh, real life location names. But uh, let me know uh, what place that you like to go and pick up your trailers at, or maybe even if you own a trailer, uh, where you go get loaded at. So let's open up the old menu here and we're gonna pick the load. It is a little red dumper. Uh, there's nothing else we can customize on it, or is there? I think we could, yeah, we could do one of these variants. Uh, I do like the tandems like this, so I will be selecting that. And it's $175, literally 50 cents almost on the mile, but 133 miles, so. Huh. Real good. Um, what we're going to do is pull on the scale here for, of course, the added effect here. Uh, this poor guy's been standing outside. Oh, man, rumor has it this man has been here for many, many moons. Legend has it he never comes down from that ladder. We'll roll up on here and see what old Scott's got to say. All right, Scott, yell me down. You're good. All righty, 10-4. So get our lightweight there. We'll uh, look at the scrap pile there. Pretty cool there about all of that. And now, if you guys don't remember, at the end of, I think it was the second episode, I believe it was a scrap trailer I went to go and pick up, and the front wheels were, like, coming off the ground. So, hopefully, uh, we don't run into that issue right now. Don't run into the pile of shredded. That would be a, uh, that'd be a terrible, terrible mistake. We'll be uh, buying tires. Buying the old tires. Love seeing the comments, guys. I love seeing you guys trying out the realistic profile here. Let me know again, too. Always love to see the progress. If you guys are new, make sure you check out that Discord. We have the link down in the description below. Of course, with the mods that we're using. Again, too, uh, I'm only going to be posting the mod links uh, pretty much for the essential mods. So basically the realistic uh, economy and fuel. To be completely honest with y'all, it's really your own desire. You know what I mean? You could use a... Uh, a truck where you don't stall right off the bat. You could use a stock SCS truck. Uh, you could use a modified truck. Really, the world is yours uh, to do whatever you so wish to do uh, here on your journey. As we load it on up, we'll uh, pull the trolley. Oh, yeah, we're locked up there. So we are weighing in at about... What are we at? Uh, 39,000, and we've already stalled. Oh, my lord. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Can we pull it? Can we pull it? Yes, we can. Wow. 39,000 pounds in the body. So, literally just shy of 20 ton. And this poor old girl. Let's look at the outside view. You see, she's working. As we pull here on the scale. Like I said, poor Scott over there. Poor guy, never goes inside. We'll pull on the old scale there. Give it its due. Thank you, thank you. Slowly drag out the clutch as we uh, try to pull this thing on out. I will throw the old headlights on as it is beginning to rain. And it looks like this episode is going to be a screamer, guys. Uh, before we leave, though, let me check the map here and see exactly what route we need to go down. So we're going to be leaving here, going around town, getting back on the 101 South. Wow, literally all the way back to where our garage is. So literally running the 101 all the way back down to the five and then hopping off there where our garage is. So kind of almost like a trip going back home. That's pretty cool because that was completely unplanned for. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna leave here, bang the right at the 
repair shop past Lieber around the general store. Oh, so this is the original way, guys. I don't know if you guys remember in the last episode, we had to go up 101 here to get in the back way because we had an accident down here. But now we're actually going back the real way. So we're going to go up to the general store there and then bang the right and then head out on the 101 South. And just so you guys do know, when the game reset us, that's where we were, was at the general store, and it literally put me right here. So it's not like we really lost uh, a lot of time and money. But, uh, release the brake. That might help me a little bit as I drag the clutch and almost burn it out. Very, very cool here how we have, it looks like a somewhat like a sand pit or something across the street. Again, guys, headphone users, I do apologize for the way this thing is a screamer. Hopefully we can get to a certain level where we're going to be able to upgrade our truck a little bit. And that's going to be really the topic of today's video is uh, what do we think the next move should be, right? Like, we do have a loan out right now. We took a $100,000 loan out, which is pretty much asinine. Uh, if you ask me or anyone else trying to do this style profile and I guess the real question at hand is uh, you know do we take out another loan and try and get a driver in the trucks um, you know what we would have to do is literally hire a driver put him in this thing and then run some of the freight markets so we can have enough to upgrade the garage but uh, I don't know, man. You know, I don't know. Uh, or do we go ahead and try to buy our own trailer first and really try to establish ourselves? Let me know down in the comments section. Do we try right off the bat to expand the business? Being that we hire a driver, another truck, and upgrade the garage? Or do we save our money and try to buy a trailer and see if we can't uh, contract some of our own work? I think the repair station was up here, right? We're going to bang a right at that. Still on the off-road uh, experience here. So, guys, if you don't know, now you know. We are using the SIM panel ATS and ETS2 communication box. The SIM panel is a beautiful partner here of the Hammerhead community of the Modded ATS channel. Very, very happy and thankful to have them part of the team, as well as Toby Gaming, our head tracker that allows us to look left and right and up and down. We will have links in the description to those respected sites and discount codes for the hammers that would like to upgrade their gaming experience here on American Truck Simulator. Oh, we got a 10 speed mic. Forgot about that for a minute. But we do have the links for that. If anyone else out there wants to be a partner here of the channel, make sure to hit me up there on the email address, modded ATS of business. Pretty sure I did not need to go that way, right? Yeah, no, we got to stay straight here. Wanted to make sure. Oh, the map is down there. Oh, boy, Mike, forgetting things already. Yes, let me know. Send me an email if you'd like to work here with the Hammerhead community and the channel also big shout out to guys got a few channel members here part of the youtube channel there is no extra perks of being a channel member we do offer of course the subscriptions over on twitch with the live streams uh to be a part of the super trucker club the youtube channel here strictly is just an extra place if you feel you want to throw a little more support here towards the channel, we do kindly appreciate you. And we are very grateful uh, for our channel members. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and the love. You guys know who you are. Little Jake Brick. There is the general store. So this is going to be a fun ride, too, with the Jake and Brick because... Uh, because we are actually going to have a load on. <laughs> so we're actually going to need to uh, actually slow the truck down. So this is going to be a uh, dangerous ride as the rain subsides. 
We'll be hitting this 101 all the way southbound, even though it says east. And then we're going to want to uh, jump on the 5. Also, big shout out, guys, over there on the Twitch channel. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Last night, we did quite a few giveaways of Oklahoma. Congratulations to all the winners over there. Hopefully, you guys are putting the hammer down over there in the Oklahoma. I don't know what state that is, so I was not prepared for that comment. I was going to say something like, you know, for Texas, we call that the Lone Star State, or, you know, I think, uh, well, what, Oregon or something is the Beaver State, or one of the other ones are the Beaver State. Can't tell you what Oklahoma is, because I was not prepared, but, uh, yeah, hope you're putting down the miles over there. If you guys are looking to get any more DLCs, we do have a giveaway this weekend. It's going to be either Friday or Saturday. I'm going to leave it up to Missouri for you guys breaking that 1,500 follower mark over there on Twitch. Cannot thank you guys enough. We are on the road to 2,000 followers. Cannot thank you guys enough for all of that. Love hanging out with y'all. Putting the hammer down live. There it is, Mike. Find the gear. It's okay. It's there. As the cars just casually pass us. Like I said, too, hopefully uh, we don't run out of rest. Right, run out of our uh, ELD here in this old girl. Kind of a little bit of irony that we would have an ELD system in a truck from the late 40s, early 50s. Come again? Well, thank you kindly for that kind comment. And we are headed down to Olympia, 95 miles according to that sign. Hopefully we could uh, get there in time for our delivery. And then we can rest up. And then we're going to be on a really weird schedule uh, for our next couple of days. The only way to really fix that schedule is if we have a really decent pay and load. And then we uh, do one a day there. Love the scenery up here in the great state of Washington. I think this is Washington. Are we in Washington? Man, I'll tell you what. It has been a long, long day. I don't even know where I'm at sometimes. All I know is how to... Some, oh, sometimes. Sometimes I know how to find the gear. Eating and driving is also not recommended, but we are going to attempt it here. Modded ATS loves his string cheese. This is modded packed lunch for this day. Got ourselves a little bit of a nice swig of water here. You guys are like me playing this game hours on end where you lose track of time. <laughs> Try to stay hydrated. All right, so 101 South Olympia. That is what we want. The old burger joint over there, that's really cool. Whoa, Subaru, not fun. So I did not add any other traffic mods yet, guys. Um, SCS obviously just released a 148. So in case you guys are curious, we are a 1.48 of American Truck Simulator. And with that, there's a lot of little quirks and features that are added to the game that are new that might need a little bit of polishing. So it is expected that there might be another patch or two that might come out here, especially with the release of Oklahoma. So, adding any uh, traffic mods and stuff like that at this current moment, uh, I'm just going to hold off on it until the game is 100% uh, stable. I would say the game is probably at about 90%, just give or take. But uh, eventually, guys, we will be adding back in some of the traffic mods there. I don't know, honestly, if I'm going to add a density mod, just because... These videos are already coming out to about 30 minutes long, if not a little longer, depending on the trip. 
And if I have a traffic density mod, we're going to be here for days. Um, but I do want to add, of course, the classic truck traffic, uh, the different types of vehicles in the roadways, so it does have a little bit more of a realism feel to it. All three mods, of course. Going to try to stick with all of the Steam Workshop slash free mods here for the realism feel um you know so you guys are able to do so without having to worry about paying any kind of money for mods or anything like that you know scs does a fantastic job as it is but if scs wanted to add actual specifics uh you know for example uh the ups truck over there um we have the real companies mod in here but that would be known as something a little bit different um than UPS here, obviously, because then SCS would obviously need probably licensing uh, from UPS in order to use their name and logos and such. So that's why we have Walmart instead of Walmart and the home store instead of Home Depot. But I will like to... Uh, why is that guy high beaming me? Do I have my high beams on or something? Oh, he's letting me know a cow's behind him? That'd be cool. Let's pretend he did that. But, um... Yeah, so we try to... Uh, I'm going to try to keep everything pretty much at a uh, very basic free experience here for you guys to try the realism out. But again, any truck you guys want to use, whether it be a payware mod, an SCS truck, this will work for any type of experience that you're going to try to have. The only difference might be, though, when you go to buy your truck, uh, the value of the cost might be slightly different. But hey, listen, that very well could make or break your company because it might be a little too expensive to buy certain trucks for you. And don't forget, the loads are always going to be very, very cheap. Uh, we are still going to run down this road here. I think we only got to... I don't know why everyone's high-beaming me. I think... I, oh, I got my lights on, but I guess we'll turn the lights off. I mean, maybe they don't like my headlights on during the day or something? I don't know. Truck's pulling pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's doing a nice little pull up some of these hills here. Again, I love trucking up here in the Northwest. Um, if you are able to run some decent graphics here in the game, like at least high or ultra, uh, and, and have a decent nice monitor, either a nice 1080 or 1440, and you're able to play the game in like a 2K manner and sit there at 60 frames, uh-oh. Hopefully that was a loan installment. I think that was a loan installment coming through. Um, it's really nice to see everything up here. Uh, with all the trees and everything loading in, it could be a little heavy on some hardware. So it is nice though, if you are able in fact to see this in all of its beauty and glory. So it looks like we're having a little bit of a traffic jam here. I will say this, as much as I hate 10 speeds in real life, I really don't mind it right now on this truck. This is a very, very good pick uh, for this. That's the 8. I don't want the 8. I want the 5. Let's make sure, though. I don't want to get lost here. Yeah, we still got a ways to go. Oh, what was our sleep? So let's pull up the in-game log. So we have... Uh-oh. Okay, we have three hours. Hold on a minute. All right, so let's figure this out together, right? So if you guys look there, it says remains, right? That is how much time we actually have on the trip itself. And if you guys see right here, looks like we had to get off this exit ramp and the GPS is going to reroute us. But if you look there, it said the remaining time was about five hours, right? Um, and then it's at three hours till rest. Well, if you look down to the bottom right here, it'll say Wednesday at 116, 38 miles, 47 minutes. So we have 47 minutes to get to the job. And you guys see now it did just change a little bit. Now it's just 43 because now we are rerouting ourselves. But uh, I cannot wait to get a real GPS in this truck. So we can pretend not to look at our like our phone right now. So we do have still some ample time to get to the job. I just don't know 
which way this is going to put us out. Oh, we do have a roll here. So we're, we're rolling right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start this truck off into first gear instead of low. Well, second gear, I guess, if you consider first low. But uh, when this light decides to go, we will check that out. But real quickly, let's look at the map here. Uh, oh, so we're going to reroute down that way. Okay, cool. Very nice. Do you believe in magic? Whoa, hold your foot on the brake. Don't hit this car. It's going to be too late. The light is green. Let's hit the fuel. I'm going to roll it out a little bit here. We should be able to get enough road speed. There we go. So cool seeing that wigwam up there. I'm going to put my right blinker on already to justify that I want to stay in the right lane. So as you guys see, there is the Home Depot. And if we didn't have the real company's mod in, that would be the home store. And of course, the Walmart on the right hand side. Now, we're going to continue going down this road, I guess, right? You'll probably always know when I'm taking a swig of water. My camera's like always looking over here. <laughs> My Toby goes all crazy. 25 mile an hour back out of it, Mike. Guys, gotta let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about that Jacob break. way this thing sounds. So with 148 being actually released and active and now on the game, I will now go ahead, go into my no GPS profile, and we should have a video come out, hopefully either on the weekend or early next week. This way the account is all good to go. As you guys do know, I do have a no GPS profile here where I actually do truck around with no GPS here in American Truck Simulator in an old 359 Peterbilt. But um, I do want to keep that profile completely unhinged. Uh, that'll be a profile that will uh, be here until the channel is no longer. Uh, that profile will always be here if you guys are no GPS fans. Whether it be six months, one year, five years, ten years, you guys can always guarantee there will be a no GPS video always here somewhere out and released on this channel. That is my all-time absolutely favorite series. I'll tell you, though, this one might rival it. But uh, I definitely do not want to have any issues on that profile of any sort of corruption. So every time there is a massive game update... I do make sure I take that profile 100% very meticulous and seriously where I have certain saves and everything else so I don't lose any uh, any kind of uh, progress. What's going on over there? That's a weird way to stop, huh? Light is green still. Nice Kenworth over there. Pulling the old doubles for Swifty Swift. And, uh... Oh, that is cool. I can see the reflection through my glass here, my passenger window of the guys over there standing around uh, doing probably city work, right? Oh, bum bum bum. I'm gonna beach at this light. Alright, we're gonna try to drag this light. Come on, don't get a red light, don't get a red light. Yeah, buddy, slow trucks for the win. Find the gear, disappear. Wind it all the way out. I'm going to skip it down into five. Flip it up. There are six. Oh, wow, it shows, I, I'm not even looking on the bottom there. And seven. My steering wheel is so big that I actually had to look down 
uh, to see the gypsus uh, that you guys are very easily able to see there. Uh, what does that guy got on? Stone in the back of that little uh, single axle dump? That's pretty nice. Again, I always love the immersiveness of all the random different things that you see around here in-game. Another dump wagon over there. Nice Mustang going down the road. Hello, sir. Uh, oh, light is green already. I was going to say, I can't see the light. We will have to put the old blinky blink on. I am getting very good, though, with, of course, this non-synchronized transmission. I mean, huh. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I mean, uh, I feel as though I probably should have it down pat, considering I may or may not drive these for a living. <laughs> Very cool, though, how you can change that up and around. Up over the overpass here, too. Very cool. I always love, I love this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes when you really sit back and you think about all the cool things that this game has to offer and all the immersiveness of it. And it looks like, too, we're just going to be able to make it here uh, on time with our rest. So we might be able to go sleep back at the yard, which is going to be perfect for a uh, real realism style profile here, right? Because on usually on a day cab, you're always going back to the yard at the end of the day. And uh, maybe we'll try to do that here on uh, each load that we do while we have the day cab. We'll try to run some loads during the day and then try to go rest over at our uh, shop. I think that would be uh, pretty, pretty cool as I almost blow the motor there. But the Cummins takes it like a champ. I don't know if that other lane was a turn lane, but what I did there was not recommended. All right, I want to see something here. Let's see on the outside view how much this truck picks up off the ground. Oh, yeah. Little bit. Very nice. I love the way this thing looks. Little shorty. Where are we delivering this to? Another scrap metal place? Another metal warehouse? Metal West. So Metal West is further down this old Gypsus. I just can't remember if we went here. Um, oh, we did. Remember we went to West... No, what do we do here? Was it Westport? We went around this circle before. I think it was like in the second episode. Uh oh, we got, we found a we found a recruitment center, guys. Is that a uh, is that a hint? Oh no, that was the metal place there. So I'm gonna pull in the Walmart. Pulling in the Walmart will do it. And this is how Mike ends up late on the load. See, even with the Gypsus, I still can't seem to uh, get to the right location. I'll kick it around the old side of the building. Oh, bring it back. Short trailer, short trailer. Oh, gosh. I drive short trailers sometimes for a living. I should probably realize how much difficult it is than a long trailer. That's also a fun fact, by the way, guys, in case you don't know. If you guys do pull a long trailer, anything over 45 foot, it is much more difficult to back in a short trailer than it is a longer trailer. Especially if you're used to uh, doing the longer trailers and you hop into a shorty, it can really, really throw you off. Uh, that'll do it right there. Throw it back in the first. Oh my god, I thought that guy was coming in here. 
Uh, is this guy gonna let me go? Of course not. Thank you, my good friend. Alright. What a weird metal place here, huh? It's like a warehouse of some sort. Well, let's see what kind of drop-off we have here. We, unfortunately, are unable... Can I get in here? Is this even the place? This doesn't seem right. We're also unable to, uh... I have no idea what I was saying. I was massively confused here for a minute. Where is this thing gonna go? Anybody notice the white lines yet? Oh, it might be on the other side of this building. You know what? I've pulled out of here before, or I might have delivered. Yo, tell me that gate opens. Okay, so our spot is here. Ah, uh, nutter butter. All right, guys, let's try to figure this one out, shall we? All right, let me uh, wind it on out there, drag the clutch again. Now, we do have the short trailer, which is nice with the short truck. But, uh, don't hit the forklift, Mike. Can't really see what is going on here. to uh, really kind of feather this thing down. And I guess we'll start slowly jackknifing it around now. Again, very nice to have the short trailer and the short tractor to be able to accomplish something like this a little bit more easier than what it would probably be with a long one. And we'll bring it back and around town. My God, it's almost like he knows what he's doing for a minute, you know? I think this is the most beautiful park job I've ever done in my life. And give it to me a little bit. Nope, it's not going to. Let me uh, straighten myself out. Oh no, the yawns are coming. Well, what do you guys rate that? I'd give that a good old 6 out of 10. Thought that was a pretty solid job. And give me the green. Any minute now. Are you guys as confused as I am right now? Anyone just as confused as me? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. I'll tell you what though. I think we did a fantastic job, right? Oh man. I didn't know it was inside the building. All these white lines. 
Well, at least we got it in that shot pretty nice. Now just to get it in here. And we'll line it right up. At least you guys know I could actually back up here into a spot sometimes. I don't always cheat. But uh, there's the green. Pull the brake. And we will detach the trailer. And I don't know if we'll get a level from this or not. Hopefully something. I doubt it. Damn. Uh, we're going to have to hit continue on this one. And we are going to have to take that short ride back over to the garage right there. So, guys, what I'm going to do is we're going to end it right here, right now, for this episode here inside of the old Metal West. I think that's where we are right now, right? Metal West? West Metal? I don't know. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to take this old girl back to the garage here so we don't get any kind of sleeping fines. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and of course, put those notifications on so you guys know when the next video is released. And I will catch you guys on the flip. Peace.